Good day. Hello. How are you? I am having a wonderful life. Who do I have in a Valder BB show studio with me here in Dallas, Texas? This is Rick Riordan talking to you from Manhattan. Well, Rick, thank you so much. Would you tell your engineer you're just a little bit low? I want to make sure my audience hear everything that you have to say. All right. We'll try to get All right. the volume What's up going on in your world, Rick? Well, uh, the new book is coming out. I have a new series on Norse mythology. Uh, the first book is The Sword of Summer, just out yesterday. That is correct. I got a chance to peruse it a little bit. Give us a synopsis of the book. Well, basically, it's about a 16-year-old homeless boy named Magnus Chase who's living on the streets of Boston. Uh, he accidentally does something heroic and dies right at the very beginning of the book with a sword in his hand and wakes up in Valhalla, Viking paradise. He finds out that the Norse gods are alive and well in modern America, and now that he's dead, his life is going to get really interesting. <laughs> Let me ask you, what is the age group for the book? It's a middle grade novel. I was a middle school teacher for many years, and so that's always my target age, say ages 9 to 14, although I'm constantly surprised. Uh, a lot of older readers come to the series, and, and that's great, too. Well, I was going to tell you, I was in, I'm not going to name the bookstore, but anyway, uh, they resell books, and uh, there was a, an adult reading your book, so I thought it was for adults also, too. <laughs> it, well, it, it absolutely can be. If you enjoy the story, I, I say a good story should be enjoyed by all ages. You said you were formerly a middle school teacher. You're no longer a middle school teacher. You're just a successful writer. Uh, amazingly enough, I was not anxious to leave the classroom. I love teaching middle school. I did it for 15 years. Uh, but yes, now I'm just writing full time. Uh, but I still feel like a teacher. It's just that now I have millions of kids in my classroom. What is the best thing about this evolution of your career and the current state of the book that you're writing? Uh, I think the best thing about the career is that it's reach, the books are reaching so many kids. I never thought that I would have this kind of an audience. Uh, so, again, I'm, I'm able to share my love of mythology, Greek, Roman, Norse, with a, a whole generation of kids and hopefully turn them into readers. You said in your book, your, your new book, that the uh, protagonist dies at the beginning? Yeah, that's not much of a spoiler. That's right off the top. He, he dies and is reborn as one of the Einherji, which are Odin's warriors that he's going to use at Doomsday. Okay, so, okay, well, you're saying some words that I can relate to a little bit, because when you watch certain blockbuster movies, they refer to these characters, you know, Odin, the planet of Odin, that kind of thing. So you're teaching at the same time that you're entertaining. That's the idea, yeah. And I love uh, the Marvel movies. I love the Thor comic books. I grew up on them. But the mythology is a little off base. So I'm trying to, to have the books be a little closer to the actual myths. And, and hopefully kids that like the movies will also like these. Well, I love that. Uh, those of us who are not very versed in mythology, we're just entertained. But I am married to someone who understands Marvel comics. I don't know if he understands mythology. And he knows they're not right on the money. <laughs> That's right, but it's always fun. If it gets the kids interested in reading, that's my main thing. I can understand that, as long as they're entertained. Where would my audience find out more information about your book? They could go to my website, which is just my name, rickriordan.com, and you can go to any local bookseller in your area, and they should have the books in stock. Rick, thank you so very much. It's a very interesting read. Thank you very much. Thank you.